Rock of Ages clan for me. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I pray that you've been very prayerful during the last few days that we have not been together in devotion. School has reopened face to face and I'm back on campus. And I took the first week of being on campus to make the adjustments but now I'm back and I thank God to be back and so we'd have our regular morning devotions once again let us pray oh God we thank you for your many rich blessings towards us guide us as we reflect on your holy word. Cause us, O oh Father, to ever be mindful that you are our rock, our refuge, our hiding place, our tower of strength. And to you we can come for that safety. Father, oh, we pray to stay. And we'll never forget that it's from you that comes our help, our protection, our gifts. Bless us now as we reflect on your word. Amen. Some words from Psalm, Psalm 16, verses 1 and 2, with great emphasis on verse 1. Keep me safe, my God, for in you I put 
my trust and take my refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my God. Apart from you, I have no good thing. While there is no desperate plea from David for the Lord's protection in a particular crisis, David is expressing his confidence in the Lord. And thus, he looks to him for his protection, for his person parents in the in the race of life we should depend on on god to do the same for us from every harm from every enemy from every danger from growing cold from anything and everything that will hinder our relationship with our god to put our trust in and on the Lord goes far beyond trusting Him for your salvation. We put our trust in Him for all issues of life that we might encounter. Indeed, if we can trust Jesus to save us from eternity in hell, can we not trust him to guide us in our everyday living? Can we not trust him to protect us? Can we not trust him to minister to all our needs? To each of these questions and many, many, many more similar questions, the resounding answer for me is yes. Can we put our trust in the Lord for all our needs? Whatever it might be. David would, would later go on and write Psalm 20. And with particular emphasis on verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Or oh, I'm trying to say to you this morning, like David is saying, eh? That even in the midst of this COVID, that we have a God that we can put our trust in. Even in the midst of this bad economy, we have a provider who will supply our needs. Seek, he says, and you'll find. Ask, we have a savior to go to who will supply all that we need. And we must always remember that his promises are true and will come true for us if we but trust him. We must trust in the Lord with all our hearts. My brothers and sisters, in times like this, when it seems extremely difficult, when it seems as if whatever could go wrong is going wrong, is the time you need to call on the Lord. Call on him and he will answer. It is in times like this, David wants to encourage us to to, to constantly stay focused and hold on. Have faith in this God who will take care of us. And, and, and it's, it's, it, it sounds to some little, 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 little wishy-washy just to say that, that, that he will take care of me and not knowing when and how it will happen. Eh? But that's why we are different because we are a people of faith. And, and if we are a people of faith, we must be a people who could speak them things which you can't see into, into being. We must be a set of people who can walk, not by sight, but by, 
by the guidance of the Holy Spirit, knowing that our God promised it. And if he promised it, he'll deliver it. And so I want to, 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 in, to in, encourage us. I want to, in, I want to encourage us to, to stay focused. To stay focused and, and keep our eyes on the prize. That prize is Jesus Christ, who will take us through this pandemic. Who will take us through this weak economy. Who will take us through our daily life if we would trust him. Listen again to David in Psalm 16. Keep me safe, my God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my God. Apart from you, I have no good thing. Trust in the Lord. The songwriter says, a rock of ages, climb for me. Let me hide myself in the, I'm hiding in the rock. That rock that is higher than I. God bless you. Have a blessed day. For God is counting on you. Amen.